you look at PHP's history as a whole, if we look at, at the whole 20 years of PHP from where it started when you know, Rasmus was just trying to run his, his resume web counter in the 90s uh, up through where it is today, we see this continuous uh, progression of the language getting better and better and better in these little increments. And that's been absolutely great. It's been uh, one of PHP's biggest strengths, in fact, is this movement from uh, what works to what works a little bit better to what works a little bit better. So when it comes to improving PHP, I think um, there are really three sort of areas that need to be focused on. And the first we've done a really good job of focusing on already. The first being performance. You know, PHP has continued to creep up in performance through uh, PHP 5, and it's been a nice slow uh, getting up to speed but 7 has really taken that to another level. We've seen the performance of the engine literally double, memory uh, costs going in half. This has been huge, and we've done a really good job of that. The next thing I think that we need to spend some time on are static typing and static type analysis, things that new languages like Rust and Swift and Go have been really bringing to the forefront, and they have obvious benefits. They make maintenance of programs so much easier, they make them more secure, they make refactoring just much more pleasant. They improve the entire process of software development. And we've started on that a little bit. 7.0 has seen scalar type ins become a normal part of the language and the ability to control how those are checked at runtime in a very practical PHP sort of way, to be honest. Um, and then the third thing that I think I want to see us explore a little bit more is the idea of middleware containers functioning um, in PHP the way they do in some other more mature languages that have designed this in from the beginning. I think we spend entirely too much time uh, with PHP's concept of completely shared nothing. Shared nothing is a great idea, but when you take it too far, you actually end up uh, defeating yourself. So I think there's some middle ground to be had there. I think the important thing from our end users, the people who are actually using PHP to solve their problems and build their applications, is to get onto PHP 7. You get more speed, you get more power, you get all of this stuff for free because open source works and PHP is a really good open source program. Get on 7, take advantage of the features, take advantage of what's so much better about the language and its performance and everything else. And 5 has been great to us, right? PHP 5 served us for 10 long years, 10 really interesting years, but it's time has passed and it's, it's really time to embrace the future and everything that has to offer.